Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill Lewis. I'm CEO of Tomasis. I'm joined by Alex, Dr. Alex, who's our CTO. Those of you who are with us in uh, Atlanta will remember that we did a world trip. We introduced a young lady from uh, Nairobi, somebody from Australia, and somebody uh, from Singapore. Tonight, it's no different. Uh, we've got a welcome message uh, from a friend of ours who is sitting very, very close to the Arctic Circle. I'll hand you to Sean uh, of Alberta. Good afternoon from up near the Arctic Circle. Uh, loving working with uh, these folks with WebRTC and uh, hope that you folks are enjoying the much warmer weather down south. We're uh, staying warm up here in northern Alberta. Cheers. Now we'll return back to Sean hopefully in a few minutes. So can we switch the... Okay. The, the story uh, for us, uh, having uh, started with this round the world theme, is that uh, Daisy was our guest from Nairobi uh, at Atlanta. Now we're moving forward and we want to tell you about our world trip since then. Uh, the first uh, stop in our journey is in India and Dubai, where we, Ciscus TV is using one of our white label clients uh, on, in an international management and coaching business. That went live about four or five weeks ago uh, and extremely satisfied with it. They're, they're delivering into all kinds of different places in India and, and around the Gulf. Next. The, the second part of our world trip takes us to Thailand. Avable, very fascinating company. Uh, Avable is a social media a uh, social media dating uh, site. It is mobile only. They launched in April of this year, and they had 600,000 uh, users by the time we joined them uh, some four or five weeks ago. They've now charged us with taking their platform into not just text chat, but into video. And we'll go live on the next release, which is in quarter one of next year. And, and we'll go bang into the social media space. Um, our next uh, uh, point of contact is our friends again in Alberta. But I'm going to go back to Sean for, for him to say goodbye to us later on. As you can see, Sean is in the northern part of Alberta. He came to us after testing many, many different vendors in this space. And uh, he gave us a, wonder, a wonderful accolade. It was in our press release, which went out yesterday, uh, announcing the deal with Alberta. Having tried all, a, a lot of uh, vendors in WebRTC, Tomasis was the one that could actually satisfy the demanding uh, connectivity issues and connectivity challenges that we face in the oil fields and in the northern remote parts of Canada. And seriously, he was sitting up on the edge of the Arctic Circle. And uh, that just demonstrates how well our particular solution will reach into parts of the world that other people won't reach. The next one, this is a, again a fascinating social media story. Yuzu is probably somebody that you've never heard of, but you might very well have experienced. Yuzu is a social, an e-commerce social media platform. And that platform is used uh, presently by some 37 million users in 163 countries around the world. So it's possible uh, if you've got a, a, a dedicated social media site that you visit and you participate in, it could be a Yuzu site. Uh, we went to them some months ago and said, you know, one of the challenges with uh, social media is that people don't stay a long time on social media sites. Uh, they come on, they look, they go. Uh, but this is actually no good to you because uh, your, your revenue comes from advertising. And that, that relies on people staying on the site. If we could embed visual communications into your social media site, then we can actually increase the stickiness of the site. And maybe we're going to increase a visit from something like his three minutes to something like 13 minutes. And, and they, they said, well, it's a great idea. Now, can you do it? And yes, we can. Uh, we'll actually launch uh, the end of this current quarter. We've signed a deal with them. Uh, we've done a proof of concept. And we've got access as a result of, of that contract in the social media space to some 37 million users. And when you talk scale, and um, talk about WebRTC becoming scale, then that is a large number. 
I, if I look at what the team has done with Yuzu, with Avable, which is 10 million potential users, uh, with uh, our friends in India who are projecting one to two million in the next two years, if we total up our real live contracted pipeline in terms of number of users, over this ne uh, the, 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 the foreseeable horizon, I've got 50 million users that we could potentially, uh, can potentially service. To do that, there is some things that you need. And this was our vision when we started in the, down the route of WebRTC. You would need to be global and scalable, a global and scalable infrastructure, uh, incorporating bandwidth, uh, optimization, load balancing, and many other uh, features, fully customizable SDKs and APIs. What we're finding is the customers are coming to us and saying, we want to do this. Uh, we've talked to other people, but their APIs, their SDKs are a little bit restrictive. Can you do this for us? Yes, we can. Um, a feature-rich uh, set of clients across browser, desktop, and mobile. If you attended the Google presentation yesterday, you have heard uh, Justin say one of the key things that all vendors must look at is a seamless experience, irrespective of the device that you're on. And, and our vision now, and we're working with a telco in Singapore, Starhub, uh, to be able to go from smartphone to tablet to uh, laptop to desktop to TV. And you, so you can start in your office in a conference. You can get in a, into a taxi, seamless transfer of that call. When you get home, my vision is you can shake your phone and your call will automatically go onto the TV. I think right at this point, you have to actually switch the TV on. So that uh, is our helicopter ride, very rapid helicopter ride, because we were told we were running late today, over our world journey. Now, I don't know whether we can get, uh, is Sean gone? Sean's gone. OK. Um, so enjoy our journey with us. We'll keep you in touch. We'll see you in Atlanta. We'll have more stories to tell about our journeys around the world. Uh, next time, it won't be Nairobi. It won't be the, the fringe of the Arctic Circle. All the people I've spoken to you about today, they'll be present as well, but we'll bring you other people from other parts of the world. Thank you very much for listening.